Hey everybody, the next piece on our list is Trade or Gifts for Trading Land with White People by the artist June Quick to See Smith. So this piece, which is, is an interesting kind of combination of collage and painting and found objects, um, assemblage as well, was created in response to the 500th anniversary of Christopher Columbus arriving to North America. And in fact, it was part of a series of art pieces uh, from what was labeled as the quincentenary non-celebration. Quincentenary meaning the 500th anniversary. So we're not celebrating this, uh, according to you know, with June Quick to see Smith. She is part of a um, Native American group called the Flathead Indian Nation. Uh, she was born on a reservation. And she is addressing here with this image and her other art <clears throat> the issues that have really plagued Native Americans since the introduction of Europeans into the landscape. And so if you remember back to um, the Oxbow by Thomas Cole, where you know, you're talking about ideas of manifest destiny and it's our God-given right to move west, well, that was the Europeans moving west and claiming the land for themselves. And um, these white colonists basically luring Native Americans who are already on the land, luring them off their land for inexpensive trade goods. And then it confronts all of the issues that have really kind of come about as a result of that exchange and the um, stereotyping of Native Americans and how it's associated with products and sports teams and you know just all of those images that come up without much thought about really what's behind it and and the impact of those things so that's what she's addressing now again she was born on a reservation her name just to explain uh june comes the, for the french term for yellow it has to do with her kind of french creole background and quick to see is a reference to her ability to grasp things quickly. So that's where her name comes from. Oh, one other thing I thought was interesting and a bit frustrating. When she was in college, she was told by her instructors, even though she was the most skilled in the room, that no woman could have a career as an artist. So it, you know, because she's female too, this has uh, an important place in the timeline of art history because it's addressing, uh, it's giving a voice to people who don't normally get a voice in uh, art. Content wise, this is a triptych and you can kind of see the seams that run vertically in the two spots there. So you're relating this, anytime you have a triptych, no matter what the subject, it then gets associated with religious works you know, from the Northern Renaissance and the Christian time period. So that's, you know, something to be aware of. <clears throat> and it contains newspaper articles of native life and photos, comics, uh, tobacco and gum wrappers, typically that have like stereotypes of Native Americans. On the bottom image, you can see those objects hanging there. You've got like a red man tobacco pouch. You have uh, small bottles of alcohol, which was a reference to the introduction of alcohol to the natives by the white you know, Europeans. You have baseball caps with the different groups of you know, sports teams that have that reference in their mascots and then their names and imagery, Kansas City Chiefs, the Cleveland Indians, the Baltimore Orioles, the you know, uh, Washington Redskins and so on. And then just different trinkets you can buy that, you know, like tomahawks and, and, and bows and arrows and headdresses. And there's all these things that we stereotype and uh, relate to the Native Americans and kind of use for all sorts of kind of things that neglect to really look into and honor the meaning of them. 
So that's one um, thing that you're seeing in both the canvas with all of the articles and photos and also the objects. Paint really stands out too. The paint colors that she puts on top of all those um, articles and collage items on the canvas, I think it represents her feelings and her heritage as well. Uh, when I talk about the feelings more like red, bloodshed, uh, war, anger, only the color yellow perhaps with her name, um, you have some landscape kind of colors and earthy tones, so perhaps a reference to landscape. So those colors are applied in a very abstract expressionist way. Patches of color um, kind of done quickly and with emotion. You know, I think back to the one artist we did, which was William de Kooning with Woman One. Um, I think definitely it relates to that with the application of paint and the emotional you know, the feelings behind that application. And then dominating in paint also is the canoe. And the canoe is a reference to both the Native Americans and, and actually non-Native explorers or traders who would connect with each other and or, you know, trade with one another. But the canoe is stuck, unable to move. So unable to move and make those connections and, uh, kind of stuck in the present moment of that stereotyping and not valuing and kind of dismissive use of Native American imagery. And again, the clothesline hanging on top has all the Native themed objects. And it's also a reference to offerings that would be provided to the Native Americans from the Europeans in exchange for their land. And usually the objects that were exchanged were not worth the land that was being traded. So I think June Quick to see Smith is saying, here, have these objects in exchange for our land back, because these objects are really just as worthless and you know, not worth the price that was paid, which was the land that they were on. Here's some other images coming up here just so you can see her art uh, very much a part of uh, the one down at the bottom reminds me of Lascaux Caves quite a bit. But, you know, it's very much mindful of her past and heritage, the Native American experience here in the Americas, and really giving a voice to people who have been marginalized throughout uh, American history. So I would say for function is definitely social commentary and personal expression. And then you can use for formal qualities color, you know, color being symbolic of the emotion, the warfare, the anger, the intense like emotion that she feels behind this, the landscape that was being lost or given. I think emphasis too. We are emphasizing these stereotypes, you know, seeing uh, the, you know, tri just the stereotypical image of Native Americans that people have without giving them thought. These are a richer people and an important people in U.S. history and to just water it down to a sports logo or an advertisement or just one image that you think defines an entire people is wrong. And that's what she's expressing here with this piece. So I think absolutely social commentary, personal expression, and then color and emphasis to make her point. So again, that is Trade by Native American artist June Quick to see Smith.